Welcome to the second Q&A session uh, in consolidation. Today we are going to see about four questions and uh, these questions will be uh, linked below. Uh, let's move on to the first question. Uh, from the first question, they have given some data as the thickness of the layer, that is the capital H is given as 3 meter and the void ratio E0, initial void ratio is given as 0.8 and the CC compression index is given as 0 0.28 and uh, uh, the effective pressure on the clay layer is given as uh, 130 kilopascal then the increase is given as 50 kilopascals and the secondary consolidation index is given as 0 0.02 right they are asking us to find the total settlement after five years, five years, and uh, the time for primary consolidation, for so the time for primary consolidation is given as 1.5 years. So these are the data given for us. And uh, we have to see uh, when it comes to settlement, it has three portions. One is the initial settlement, then the settlement due to the primary consolidation and finally the settlement due to secondary consolidation. So usually this takes less time and this takes a longer time where the settlement uh, would be a comparatively low value than the settlement of uh, the primary consolidation. Right. So you know how to find the primary consolidation value easily. So we have seen some questions and we will see it again. Uh, and uh, there are some more portions uh, with regarding the secondary consolidation part. And we will see that too. All right. So here there are, is no any detail regarding the initial settlement. So we don't need to calculate that. So we can directly move on to our uh, primary consolidation part. So, from the uh, graph of void ratio and effective stress, uh, we know the shape is something like this. And from this virgin curve part, we can find the change in void ratio. So here, uh, I'm considering the virgin curve part because only CC is provided. So the case normally consolidated state. So when you take the void ratio change due to this increment, we can write the equation simply as delta E is equal to CC into log sigma 1 over sigma 2. So this is effective stress. This is simply from the gradient of the virgin curve part. So calculating this, so we can find 0.28 into log the initial stress would be when the loading before loading is 130 and after loading it would be 118 that is sum of these two values so the change in void ratio would be 0 0.04 this would be the change in void ratio before and after loading so this would be our first result the change in void ratio delta e that is 0 0.04 Right. So, if we draw the graph for the change in void ratio versus the effective stress over the time, sorry, the time. So here the void ratio and here the time in log scale. So we will get a shape similar to the Casa Grande graph. So we can find where the secondary consolidation starts. So this would be the part where the secondary consolidation starts. So above this would be the primary consolidation to a certain extent, not all the way above because there will be some initial consolidation, initial settlement part and below this would be the secondary consolidation part. So the secondary consolidation is separated here 
where the void ratio is given as EP. So we know where the consolidation started, that is the E0, where the initial void ratio. We know the change due to the primary consolidation. So we know this delta E part. So we know this is 0 0.8, we know the change as 0 0.04. So what would be the EP part? That is the part where we have the void ratio where the secondary consolidation is going to start. So this would be 0 0.76, the difference between these two. So from here, the secondary consolidation begins, right? And similarly, we know to find the settlements of the primary consolidation. So delta P, that is the settlement due to primary consolidation. This is equal to change in void ratio over 1 plus E naught into H. So this is 0 0.04 over 1 plus 0 0.8 into H is 3 meters. So when you calculate it, it gives us a value of 0 0.67 meter. So this is change in void ratio, sorry, change in uh, the, the length of the layer, that is the settlement 0 0.067 meter. So when we started the practical, so when we started the loading, the layer was 3 meter high. So after primary consolidation ends, the layer is now 2.933 meter in height. That is, here I have subtracted the primary consolidation settlement from the uh, thickness of the clay layer. So this would be the initial height for the secondary consolidation and this would be the height for the so this would be the void ratio for the secondary consolidation, the beginning conditions. So not these conditions, not the 0 0.8 and 3 meter. Now the condition has changed when the secondary consolidation starts. So we have completed the primary consolidation part and primary, uh, so the change in void ratio part. Now the secondary consolidation part is remaining. As we know, C alpha, this is equal to change in weight ratio over log T1 by T2. This is obtained from the graph and this is given to us. But we don't use this value because there are some changes uh, due to that initial condition variation. We use a corrected value that is C dash alpha, which is equal to C alpha over 1 plus EP. Right, this is a small correction part, and the later part is similar to the primary consolidation calculation. So, delta S that is settlement due to uh, the secondary consolidation is equal to C alpha into log T1 by T2 into HP that is the height of layer after primary consolidation. So, here instead of C alpha. We can sub so here c dash alpha sorry instead of c dash alpha we can substitute this value and substitute other parameters for all these things and we can find the final answer that is delta s is equal to instead of c c dash alpha i'm going to use this part this part this this equation so here c alpha is equal to 0 0.02 over 1 plus ep we know delta e 0 0.04 initial is E naught so EP is equal to 0 0.8 minus 0 0.04 which is equal to 0 0.76 so here 0 0.76 into log T1 by T2 is the time taken so 5 over 1.5 this is simply where secondary consolidation starts and secondary consolidation ends into height of layer is not 3 meter it is the height of layer HP is 3 minus 0 0.067 that is 2.933. So here it will be 2.933. So the final calculated answer is 0 0.017 meter. So delta S. So what would be the total settlement? We know the secondary settlement 0 0.017. We know the primary settlement 0 0.067. So the total would be sum of these two. That is the total settlement would be SS plus so delta S plus delta P, so that gives a total of 84 millimeters. 
So this is a question which involves both primary consolidation settlement and secondary consolidation settlement. Fairly a simple, simple calculation if you understand it. Uh, I think this is, this is somewhat easy for you all. If there are any issues, comment down below and we will move on to the next question. So the second question is a fairly simple question, very simple question. Uh, this is related to the time factors. And uh, by the way, I will link the questions in the description. Here it is said a 3 meter thick layer, uh, the height of the layer is 3 meter and both way drainage. So it's the soil sample is here, but there are drainage both ways of saturated clay. So AC is 100%, they have said it is saturated. Uh, underwent 90% primary consolidation in 75 days. So they are saying they have undergone 90% of consolidation in 75 days. So this is the symbol we use the graphs. Find the coefficient of consolidation for this pressure range. So we they are asking us to find the CV, the coefficient of consolidation for this particular loading range. So we know time factor T90 can be written as CV into T90 over D square. So now in this case you can find D. It's very simple. So how to find the D? So you know the height and the drainage is in both ways so it would be simply half of it because the water from the center can move both the parts so it would be half that is it would be 1.5 so you know d you know t90 only the unknown is the capital t90 so to find the time factor we can use the tesaris uh, theory one dimensional theory from that we can know we know that is capital t is equal to 1.78 1.783 minus 0 0.933 log 100 minus u in the case of u greater than 60 percent so if you substitute uh, 90 when u is 90 percent here then you can get the value of 0 0.848 d90 so that is a simple calculation so here we can substitute CV is equal to 0.848 or into D squared 1.5 squared cross multiplication over 75 in days. If you want to give the answer in days, you can keep this in days. So CV is equal to 0 0.025 meter squared per day. So this would be the coefficient of consolidation for this particular load which it is experience. So once the load changes, the CV can change. So this is a fairly sim simple calculation. And we'll move to the next question. Here it is said that hmm. Right, a 30 millimeter thick undisturbed clay specimen. So the height of the specimen is 30 millimeters uh, as described in the previous section. So the previous question part is coming again. How long will it take to undergo 90 percentage consolidation in the laboratory for similar um, pressure range? The laboratory specimen will have uh, two way range. So here they are asking how long the time will it take for 90% uh, consolidation and same loading condition. So I already said if the loading condition changes, CV also changes. So that's why they are mentioning the same loading condition and again drainage is in, drainage is in both ways. This is also important. So if the, if the drainage condition change, again the parameters change. Both. Right. Again, clearly a simple calculation. We know T90 is equal to CV into T90 over D square. So here simple T90 is equal to 
capital T90 we already know it's 848 already calculated in the previous cal calculations uh, into d square so d would be 1.15 so simply 15 millimeters so I'm converting it into meters over uh, divided by cv so cv would be 0 0.025 meter square per day so the t90 you can either obtain it in days or if you calculate convert this into seconds and the answer is 649 seconds so what you have to do to convert in seconds so here the unit is meter square per day so per day part comes up and a day is 24 hours so 24 into 3600 seconds so automatically you will come into this well it's a simple unit calculation part so this is a fairly simple another question so the final question for today's uh, Q&A session so here it is said that uh, there is a laboratory consolidation test carried on a sample drained on both uh, sides and uh, the loading sequence is somewhat like this so when it, the first load is 50 kilopascal that is the stress is 50 kilo, kilopascal where the void ratio is 0 0.92 and the second load is 120 kilopascal and it, it experience 0.78 of void ratio so time for 50 percentage consolidation so t50 is given as 2.5 minutes uh, determine the hydraulic conductivity k so this is a very different question where they are asking the hydraulic conductivity k so from the tesardi's one dimensional theory k can be written as mv that is coefficient of volume consolidation volume compressibility into uh, cv into gamma w so we already know what is gamma w gamma w is 9.81 kilonewton per meter cube so that is the unique weight of water so we have to calculate the mv and the cv so to calculate mv uh, we need these parameters to calculate cv we need t t50 so we simply know uh, T50 capital T50 is equal to CV into T50 over D squared. So T50 would be equal to this simple T sorry capital T50 is 0 0.196 from T equal pi by 4 over U squared when U is less than 60 percentage from Tesaurus one dimensional theory. So here you have to substitute 50 for U and calculate this value into the drainage part would be uh, so the uh, thickness of this specimen is uh, sorry i forgot to mention it the thickness of this specimen is 25 mm so here the drainage part would be 12.5 square that is uh, half of it since there is both way drainage and uh, the time is in 2.5 Sorry, we need to calculate CV, isn't it? Sorry. So here it is CV. The sign the time is 2.5. So if you calculate the CV value, CV value is 1.23 into 10 to the power minus 5 meter squared per meter. So simple calculation as we did in other questions. So for this AV, the MV part, we know mv can be, be written as av over 1 plus e naught so that is 1 plus e sorry not e naught e naught is the initial void ratio here this av can be written as change that is the gradient change in void ratio over change in stress sigma over 1 plus e so we can we can find what is the change in void ratio so the change in void ratio would be 0 0.92 minus 0 0.78 for so what is the change in uh, stress it is 50 minus 120 the negative value or oh, uh, 1 plus e here there is an issue the void ratio is changing from one value to another value so we can we can't decide to, to use which value 
So in this case, we have to take the average of both the values. So finally, the MV answer would be 0 0.00108, 0 0.00108 meter squared per kilonewton. So either you can remember the unit in this way, or the unit can be written as the meter squared part can be brought down, so it would be kilonewton per meter squared. 1 over kilonewton per meter squared, that is kilopascal. 1 over kilopascal, so once the kilopascal comes out, you can write it as kilopascal inverse 1. Either this one or this is equivalent to kilopascal inverse 1, either unit. So now we know MV, we know CV, and we know gamma. So simply we need to only multiply and find the K part. So the K would be 0 0.00108, that is MV into 1.23 into 10 to the power minus 5 to gamma is 9.81. So you have to be very careful about the units, I mean uh, the meter, here also meter, here it's meter, it's kilonewtons, kilonewton, and you have to be careful about this minute part, and after proper unit conversion, you can find the K as 1.303 into 10 to the power minus 7, meter per minute. So I, I haven't converted the units. If you want to find in the standard units, let's say the centimeters per second, which we use mostly, you can convert it to centimeters per second also, but be careful while converting to different units. So I think uh, these descriptions would help you all. And uh, if you have any queries, post them in the description and we will meet soon.